Hello everyone, I'm Burjinder from fluffyclouds.blog and today I will demonstrate how you can use Oracle's generative AI services along with Langchain and a RAG framework. One of the most powerful applications enabled by LLMs are sophisticated questioning and answer chatbots. Now these are the applications that can answer questions about a specific source information. Now these applications use a technique known as Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG. RAG is a technique for augmenting LLM's knowledge with additional data. Now LLM can reason about a wide range of topics, but their knowledge is limited to public data up to a specific point in time that they were trained on. Now if you want to build AI applications that can reason about a private data or the data introduced after the model's cutoff date, you need to augment the knowledge of the model with the specific information it needs. The process of bringing this appropriate information and inserting it into the model prompts is known as retrieval augmented generations. In this demo, I will showcase how you can use the RAG framework to ask questions from a Wikipedia page using Oracle's generative AI services. So let's get started. I will be using a Jupyter Notebook here in my demo, but I will be running this Jupyter Notebook in a VS Code environment. So we will start by updating uh, the config file for the user inputs. So you just need to enter your compartment ID and your auth profile name for API access and authentication. At the time of recording this demo, uh, Gen AI services uh, were only available in a Chicago region. Uh, so you can use the same endpoint if you want to try this notebook. Now, OCI provides a number of uh, models uh, for LLM and embedding. Uh, but in my demo, I will be using Cohere's LLM model and Cohere's embedding English model uh, to showcase uh, this service. So I have kept all other parameters standard like temperature is zero because I prefer accuracy over randomness. The Langchain community library provide modules for OCI's Gen AI and embedding classes. I've crafted a custom wrapper class designed specifically to streamline your experience with OCI's LLM and embedding models. Imagine having the power to query any document in existence, from the vast knowledge of Wikipedia to the specific details of a Google document, a snippet of code in GitHub, or a cell in Microsoft Excel. The RAG framework makes it possible, beginning with the first phase, which is to ingest the document of all shapes and sizes. Now, in our journey today, I will be using Wikipedia as our go-to example, but remember, sky is a limit with over 150 plus document loaders available in Langchain. The magic starts when these documents are broken down into manageable chunks. The question is why? Because the smaller chunks are not only easier to index, but they are also a perfect fit for the brain of our operation, the large language models. Now these models are brilliant, but they have their own limits processing only a certain amount of text or what we call as tokens in the LLM's language at one time. By chunking the document, we tailor them to fit within these constraints, ensuring no detail is missed. And next, we step into the realm of embeddings. Using Cohere's sophisticated embedding model to transform our text chunks into vectors. Now, these aren't just any vectors. They are key for our AI to grasp the essence of the text, understanding the context and nuances that are invisible to the naked eye. Now, the embeddings will be stored in a local Chroma database, in my example. However, there are a number of other vector data stores available like uh, Pinecone, you have a vector search from Facebook, and you can also use Waviet, a number of other options available. Uh, this brings us to the critical phase of RAG framework the retrieval and generation process. 
In this stage, we access the previously stored vector embeddings from the database, preparing them for processing by our large language model. Now this is where the RAG framework demonstrates its capability, retrieving the pertinent information and utilizing LLMs to produce responses that are not only precise but also contextually informed. So we commence by configuring a virtual environment within VS Code tailored to our Jupyter Notebook. This isolation is crucial for dependency management and ensuring a reproducible development setting. Our subsequent step involves the deployment of several pivotal libraries like Transformers, uh, ChromaDB, LangChain, and OCI libraries that are needed for this demo. I have used the latest versions of these libraries, uh, so you have the latest features available from it. Now, in the next step, I will import the required library modules like Wikipedia Loader and also our custom LLM wrapper that I created for Cohere's command and embedding models from OCI. With the foundational elements in place, we instantiate objects for the LLM and embeddings. Our practical demonstration involves querying the Oracle Corporation's Wikipedia page. This choice exemplifies the utility of our setup, but also underscores the flexibility offered by the LangChain library. Through an alternative document loader, users can transition from Wikipedia to analyzing the contents from a PDF document or any other uh, source, showcasing the adaptability of our approach to various data formats. To validate the successful integration and functionality of our document processing pipeline, we will display both metadata and content uh, from the retrieved document. The next step is document transformation. So this is where the loaded Wikipedia pages will be divided into manageable chunks. I'm using a simple recursive character text splitter to perform this operation. However, there are a number of other techniques available in LangChain, like you can do splitting based on number of tokens, or it can be based on a specific uh, phrase or a character. Now let's see how many chunks are created and I'm going to display each chunk with the chunk number. Now that the chunks are created, the next step will be to vectorize uh, these chunks using a Cohere's embedding model and store them in the Chroma database. As you can see, I'm running a loop to store these embeddings. It is because the embedding model that I'm using has a limitation of 96 input elements uh, in an array. I will also make the database persistent for my demo so that I can load the vectors on demand later. With the vectorized data now securely stored within our Chroma database, the next step involves reinitializing the database into our vector DB variable, effectively preparing it for the further operations. Now to validate the successful storage and subsequent retrieval capabilities, a preliminary operation will be executed to fetch the database metadata, ensuring that our storage mechanism is functioning as expected. Now transitioning to the utilization phase, so we'll be using LangChain's DB Retriever. Now this tool is pivotal for querying our database, enabling us to extract stored pages based on their relevance to the search query. Initially, the retriever is configured to present with the top four most relevant pages. However, demonstrating the flexibility of our setup, I'll adjust the configuration to showcase a more targeted retrieval, specifically the top two documents or what we call as a top K2. In this section, we harness the full spectrum of LangChain's capabilities orchestrating a sequence of operations to form a coherent workflow. For those interested in delving deeper into the mechanics of each query, I've integrated an operational debugging module. Now this tool is invaluable for both understanding the intricacies of each operation and facilitating the troubleshooting in a production environment. Now my choice of chain type is MapReduce 
a decision based on consistently superior outcome compared to the conventional stuff method. For this demo, I've opted not to activate the debugging uh, callback handler. Now, following this setup, we initiate the question and answer sequence from our Wikipedia document. It is important to note a limitation. When faced with questions requiring a holistic analysis of the document's overarching theme or extracting its central idea, the model's accuracy may falter. To address this challenge, I introduce an enhanced approach through a separate Jupyter notebook, which you can find in the Git repo. Now, this notebook is dedicated to the Raptor framework, which is a more sophisticated iteration of RAG designed specifically for tasks demanding a deeper level of document understanding and thematic analysis. Now, this alternative framework represents a more fitting solution for such complex operations. As we wrap up, we delved into Oracle's generative AI offerings, RAG, and Langchain's powerful feature set. The journey doesn't end here. Experimentation is your gateway to mastery. Explore the notebooks provided, experiment with the code, and unlock the new insights. Until next time, keep exploring and happy coding.